hey guys what's up today i'm gonna show you how to make this amazing background changing banner triggered by these live buttons very easily you can see when i hover over any button the whole background color changes according to that button thumbnail similarly if we hover over this video the whole background changes to that exact video i'm gonna show you how to do it the easiest way possible and using elementor free version so let's get started and go to our Elementor page builder. So right now we're having a fully empty canvas in the Elementor. First thing I'm going to do is drag a container inside this box. And let's simply double click on this container and rename this section just to be organized. And then let's work here. First, make the content width full width, make the width 100% and then the mean height first select the VH and make it 100. And this section will cover 100 viewport of this page. Then scroll down, make the direction row, justify content end, and align items end. Finally, make sure the gaps are zero. Now scroll up, we can go to the style, and for now, I'm choosing a background color. Click on the classic, click on the color. I'm choosing a random background color, just as a placeholder, like this. Now let's go to the advanced tab. I'll link this padding on the right 20 pixel, on the bottom 30, and on the left 20. Now inside this, let's add a new container. And I'm gonna rename this one content because inside this I'm gonna put some text. Okay, so make the content, content width, full width, make the width 70%, and make sure the gap is zero. Scroll up, go to the advanced, and just on the padding bottom, 70 pixel. Okay, after this container, let's add another container simply by right clicking on it and click on add new container. This will be added right after this. Let's rename this thumbnails. Now make the width of it 30% and make the align items end. Then make the gaps 20 pixel. Okay, I'm going to leave the thumbnails container for now. Let's work on this content. Inside this, I'm going to add a heading widget. And let's change the text to this. Then go to the style, open the typography. First, we have to select a font family. So I'm going to search Instrument Sans. And this is a really good looking font. Then let's make the size 48 pixel then the weight 600 after line height 58 pixel and i'm gonna remove the later spacing if you have remove if you don't have just leave it now let's close the typography and here let's choose the color for this text so i'm gonna be making it fully white six f's the color code this text is done now i want a similar text as this so we can just right click and duplicate instead of making it from scratch now change the text to this then go to the style and all you gotta do is open the text color and make it semi-transparent so if you notice the last two digit is changing as i'm sliding this so at the end just type 99 and we'll have the exact same color as this now go to the advanced and just on the margin bottom 20 pixel okay now here the last thing i'm gonna add is a simple button change the button text to view project go to this tile open the typography make the font family same instrument sense but the size should be 13 pixel and weight keep the same finally line height 15 pixel and remove the later spacing that's it close now this is the background color of the button, right? So I'm going to click on it and make it fully transparent because I don't want any background on this button, but I want a border on this button. Select the border type to solid and I'll link the border width just on the bottom. Keep it one pixel and we'll have a border like this, but we have to remove the border radius. Removed. This is looking like this. And then I'll link the padding, make everything zero except the bottom, make it two pixel. 
So it'll be looking like this. Also one thing, make sure on the content you leave no space before this text. So it'll be perfect like this. Okay, one more thing I forgot. I wanted to make it fully uppercase. So open the typography and make the transform uppercase. Now perfect. So our content part is done. Now let's focus on the right side. So let's drag the structure here. And the first thing I'm going to add here under the thumbnails is a container. And let's rename this container thumb one. This will be our button one. And here make the width 130 pixel. Make the mean height 95 pixel. Scroll down, make the gaps 20. Now inside of this, I'm going to add an image widget. Okay. Now let's select the image. By the way, if you want to use the images I'm using here, you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com and also, of course, I'm going to be putting the link in the description and it will be here. Under the important links, you'll get this download the resources option. Click on here. You'll get all the images file in the zip. Just download it from Google Drive and you'll have all the images I'm going to be using. So for this one, select this and the image will be here. So this is our first button for the image. Go to the style, make the width 100%, make the height 95 pixel. And here make the object fit cover. So the image will cover the container and that's it. Now I'm going to select the thumb one and just duplicate. I'm going to make it three. Now let's quickly rename this thumb two, thumb three. Now for the thumb three, we can just easily change the image to this. But for the thumb two, I want to actually add a video instead of image. So we can just simply delete this image. And from here, we can add a video widget inside this. And here by default, the video source is YouTube. But this time I'm going to select the self hosted so we can select the video directly from the WordPress. I'm selecting this video and this video will be here. You can see the video is coming with some controllers, but I don't want to show the control. So in here, scroll down, turn off this player controls. Then I want to make sure the video plays automatically. Turn on this autoplay and you'll see the video will be auto playing, right? And I'm going to also enable the loop. So I'm making sure the video won't stop ever. Okay. One issue we're having is the video ratio. This is not matching with the button size, right? But don't worry, we're going to fix it later really easily. Okay. We have added the trigger buttons. Now it's time to add our actual background. So after the thumbnails container, we can add another container and let's rename this background one. And here, make the mean height 100 VH. So it will be covering the whole thing. Now let's go to the style. And from here, we can actually add an image as a background. So click on choose image. And let's select the first one. And you'll see the image is loaded, right? But the problem is, this background is taking a lot of space, pushing all of this content on the left side. So let's go to the advanced and scroll down. If we make the position absolute, it'll be fully covering the screen. But we have created another problem. This whole background is covering all of our contents. So let's select this content container and scroll down. If we make the Z index 2, it will be over that image. Then if we select the thumbnails and do the same Z index 2, it will be over that image. Perfect. Now let's go back to the background again. Go to style and now let's fix the position of this image. Scroll down in here. You'll see the center center option Select it, and on the repeat select no repeat. Then make the uh, display size cover and this image is nicely covering the display. But here we really need an overlay because we can see we cannot properly see the text and the buttons are looking really bad over this background. So we can use this background overlay. Click on this classic on the color, make it fully black. 
and make sure the opacity is fi uh, 0.5 and we're getting a nice overlay now perfect okay now it's time to duplicate this background one because we have three backgrounds duplicate duplicate we can simply change the background of the third one okay let me just rename it background two and background three change the background three's image to this and background uh, two should be a video right so go to the style instead of selecting the classic select the video and now we have to put in a link there's no option to select a video directly so don't worry just click on this video click on here and with the video you'll get a file url just copy the whole thing we got the video url now select the background to again and in this box we can paste the link now we cannot see the video because the last one is being shown here if we just hide it we can see the video right okay so basically our main design is completed now before we make everything functional let's quickly fix the responsiveness in the tablet we can see this is just perfect but in the mobile we actually have to fix it nicely and it'll be easy so first thing i'm going to select the first section in the layout instead of this 100 vh i'm going to make it 500 pixel also let's make the direction column go to the advanced on the right 20 on the bottom 35 on the left 20 Feel like this now let's quickly fix the text which are looking really ugly so open the typography just decrease the font size make it 29 pixel and lastly the line height make it 35 pixel do the same with this text make the font size 29 and line height 35 and now it's time to fix these things looking really bad select the thumbnails make sure the direction is on the row then select the thumb one and make the width only 88 and min height 66 do the same with the other ones thumbnail 2 width 88 min height 66 and the last one 88 66 also i'm going to select the images within it make the image height 66 and this one's image height 66 now the proportion is perfect one last thing we have to do is select the section from the layout just make the justify content end and now what we're going to do is select the background one from the layout remove the vh make it 500 pixel do the same with the other ones background 2 500 pixel background 3 now if we make it 500 pixel you'll see the change and this is looking just perfect right so basically our design part is fully done it's fully responsive but for the finishing touch i'm gonna select this button and do a little bit tweaking here just make the border color semi-transparent like this but make sure this is white okay and now this will be blending with the background nicely okay now it's time to make the whole thing functional just by hovering on it our background image should be changed and it will be really easy if you go to the jft website you'll see we have some codes here you don't have to understand anything just have to copy and paste the code inside the elementor and to use the code in the elementor's free version there's a trick click on plus if you search for html html you'll get this widget just add this widget in here this widget will come with a container i'm just gonna rename this custom code just to be organized now select this html and this is the field we're gonna add our code 
and we're going to get our code from here. So you'll see this change background image or video on hover style CSS. So we can just select all of this text and copy or we can click on this copy to clipboard to copy the whole code. Go back to the Elementor and simply add the code inside this HTML box. Okay. After writing, let's go back again. Scroll down. You'll see this cross sliding text on scroll style CSS classes. We need some classes. First, copy this thumbnail. Go back. First thing, select the thumb one. Go to the advanced. Scroll down. And in the CSS classes, add the class name. And you'll see the, the opacity will be decreased. Now, do the same with the other ones. Thumbnail 2, add the class name. Thumbnail 3, add the class name. Now go back to the JFT and you'll see this video class. Copy it and select the video. Remember the video, the ratio was bad. Now we can fix it really easily. You have to just paste the class name and it's instantly fixed. Perfect. Now go back, copy this thumbnail BG and select this background one, paste the class name here, background two, paste the class name here and same thing for the background three. Okay. And you'll see after adding the class names, all the background images are gone. But go back and if we copy this active, and for example, I select this background three and add this active class after this class, number three image will be shown. But I want the first image to be the active one. So I'm going to keep the active here. So everyone will see the first image as the active image. Now I'm going to do the same for the thumbnails. Select the thumb one and after the thumbnail, add the active. Now this is having the full opacity. So we know this is the active one. Okay. Now it's time to do the final thing is making it fully functional. So by hovering on it, background images changes. So go back here and it's really simple. We're having this JS code, the last code, copy it add the code in the code base after the previous code add some space and paste it now to see the action we have to publish the whole page and click on this eye icon or preview changes we're having it on a full page now see this is the active one but if we hover over this image the whole background image is changing to this thumbnail image and also if we hover on this video we can see the video through the whole banner how amazing okay so this is how you can make this amazing banner that changes with the buttons trigger if you want you can use this amazing banner in your website for example let's say you got a website template from kitpapa.com as they sell most amazing elementor templates like let's open this template click on the live demo so here we can see a banner now, if you want, you can just remove the whole banner from here since Kitpapa's templates are fully customizable and then attach this amazing effect banner by following this video. You can easily do it. And the best thing is, this is totally possible with Elementor free version. All right, so if this video was helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below about the learning experience. Your feedback is really appreciated. Oh, by the way, if you think building websites by yourself is overwhelming, you don't need to worry because we also design websites for you. From landing page to fully e-commerce website, we do it all. You just need to go to the jimfahaddigital.com, I'll put the link in the description and we'll meet you there. Okay, that was for today's video, I'll catch you on the next one. For now, bye bye.